I am actually so dumb. I'm so sorry. I forgot to um, record my uh, my microphone before. I'm so sorry. Um, so I'm just gonna show you again. Uh, I figured out what was the reason that the train jumped. Uh, basically, it was in the engine, um, the trainji. What I did was I went into rail vehicle component and I said I think it was like 1.8 something the collision sensor wire before I set that to the half of the collision height so that is 2.21 uh, and that fixed it and I also uh, took the boogie pivot to 0 0.8 uh, the Y pivot and both boogies and that should have helped as well I think um, that was what the reason why it kept on jumping um, so that fixed it um, yep so I think we can uh, do some other stuff here we can for example create the cap uh, cap view I created a folder called cap and we add a new item under blueprint we have cap camera blueprint we call it cap camera okay and then we have it here then we have the offset x y and z um, so we go into a blender and we get a we want to have the front uh, one first uh, yeah, we, have, we want to have the, the first one first. So this is the first one, uh, the front. So we set a empty plane axis inside of there. And then we just drag it over to this side of the cap. So it's pretty much in the middle. I think that's it. Oh, there we go. Um, so the C is the Y, because that's up and down, we remove the M. Actually maybe it should, it should be a bit higher, so we can actually see stuff, so uh, the C, there you go, the Y, I, th that's should, that, I think that's the X, and then the X is the Z. I think that was what it was. Yep. So, oops, I did it in the wrong place. We gotta move it up here. But I'm pretty sure we can just write minus and minus to fix it. So if I do minus here and minus there, yep, that fixes it. So we just have the same numbers from uh, this one out down here, but in the X and the set we put a minus in front. Um, now let's see uh, if that, let's just pick the directional freedom to 180. Now let's see if that works. So we export it and I'm going to go into the game and uh, see if it works. Alright, so we're in and we got the train here. Um, <clears throat> so we just press play and see uh, if it jumps. That is not from the thing. Does it jump? No, it didn't. Nice. And uh, if we go into cab view, it doesn't have any. Why doesn't it want to work? Um, it does kind of. No, it doesn't. Yep, so we gotta fix that. Oh, wait, I know what I forgot to do. I'm actually dumb. Uh, where is it? Is is? Am I blind? There it is. Um, we save the cap camera. Go into light liter E G. Go down till we find engine simulator. No. Control. <clears throat> Interior interface. There it is. And we we've set this to double cap, and then we just say provider. That is like your. Um, source of here like under source file it's for my needs boy shark dk shark dk so um 
we write our provider and the product is like this the, the name we gave the folder under project or like your uh, provider folder that is litra e, litra eg and then the blueprint id we find here the cab and then cab camera and we just paste that uh, the cab occlusion don't really care about that right now uh, we do that later um That should be it, I think, I hope. I haven't tried making like double uh, cameras, so let's just hope that this works. So we close down train simulator, and then export succeeded, and I will just go into the game again. So we're in the game again, and we look for our train, which is down there. We press play. Probably doesn't work. Um, not really, cause I okay. It does work. Uh, it does change your camera, but we just want to be somewhere else. Oh, it does work. Oh, sick. Okay. Um, so we have to fix that real quick. Uh, we're just gonna go back into our. There we go, so as you guys can see, um, the X axis is not the X axis, because uh, we eat here, we want it to be either that or that, I don't remember. Um, so we changed that to the C, I think, wait, yep, to the C, uh, so we just copy that, paste it down there to save it, there, there. There, there, because the height is actually correct. The height is correct. Um, we do the same here. Why did I save that top one? I don't know. Alright, so let's get back to zero, zero, and zero. Okay. There you go. Stop a game. There we go. And we export, oh no, that's not how you export it, export, there you go, export succeeded, and we start up the game again. So I'll just uh, be with you when the game started. And we're back in. Um, let's see, still loads up correctly, no, we don't care about you. There we go, we made our cap camera as you can see, but that is like another problem. Um, Oh, okay. I see. So we don't actually need to uh, do this camera offset. I forgot, because that is basically just uh, to put it another place in your current cab, because it will change caps automatically. I see. Um, yeah, sick. So we got that to work, and it's looking pretty good. Of course, we're not done, as you can see. But we're gonna fix that at another point. Um, yeah, that is pretty cool. Um, so I think the next thing we're gonna do is like make these animations for it um, and get because we can't drive it right now. If you can see, it doesn't want to drive because it's an electric train. So we have to get overhead wires, but there's only one way we can do that, and that is going like I have no clue how to add overhead wires in here. So I'm just gonna like go into a game uh, like a map that already has it, um, and we're gonna but we're gonna do that in the next uh, episode. So we're gonna make the uh, overhead on my we're gonna make the animations for the pantograph and stuff and the windshield wiper wipers and stuff. I mean we already made the animations uh, some time ago. Uh, I just have to redo them. Um, but yeah, we'll do that in the next uh, episode. So, I'll actually, we're just gonna delete this because we didn't need it. Uh, I forgot about that. So, there we go. Now it works, and now it should work both ways. So, we save it and just export it again, and then it should work still. Um, so, that was all for this video, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!